Hi folks, welcome back to the Cannabis Corner. I'm your host, Kerry Burns. Well, the votes were cast, and thank God the people in Colorado and the people in Washington pulled it off. We finally have two states in the 50 of this country, which were all supposed to be equal, I guess, but we finally have two states where the citizens went to vote and voted for legal recreational use of cannabis. And I applaud everybody that went out and voted and cast their vote in those two states and, and those in Oregon also, even though you got defeated. But uh, and by a wider margin than I ever expected if there was a defeat going to happen there, but I really thought that uh, Oregon was going to, to also join Colorado and Washington. And I'm, I know the people there are disappointed in the way it came out, but uh, thank God Colorado and Washington get to set the example and uh, I think really it, this is a historic vote. Uh, we finally, you know, in seven and a half decades that uh, cannabis has been illegal in the United States, we finally, you know, have some sort of semblance of sanity going on in the in the state governments and all. And the you know our Tenth Amendment rights, you know, delegates the rights to the states. And this is the way the pathway we have to we have to take. And Colorado and Washington, hats off to you. I'm just so elated that. Uh, that finally a vote came out in favor of the people who have been supporting the legalization of cannabis. Finally a vote that came out in our favor and it's just uh, it's a great great event that, that has occurred and also read today where uh, Maine and Rhode Island are going to introduce uh, measures into their legislatures when they reconvene that's going to uh, legalize the recreational use of marijuana similar to what uh, Colorado and um, and Washington passed, and also uh, Massachusetts, which also voted for medical marijuana in this last election. Uh, Vermont and Massachusetts both are are also going to introduce bills later in the year uh, for that very same thing. So the, that's what it's got to take. People have got to see these two states, Colorado and Washington. They see what's going to happen. We get the, you know, there's a chance we get the hemp industry going, and that's really going to really get the snowball rolling. But uh, each of these states, this, this is the, the pathway we have to do it. And the biggest question of all, though, is how is our newly elected new president for four more years, Obama, and the DEA and the federal government, how are they going to handle this uh, events that have occurred in Colorado? Because we, you know, we heard Obama talk when he came into power the first time, and he said that he was going to leave the dispensaries alone in California and all of that. And what does he do? He turns around and and they, you know, pulled a big raid on it, shot a bunch of them down. I mean, so how are they going to handle this now? Are they going to let the states exercise their power that the Constitution, you know, deems them? Or are we going to just have this uh, power pulled by the government and they're going to continue this BS about cannabis being dangerous and it needing to be on controlled substance? And that's really where we are. We're we're kind of a, we're a country that's, even though it's 2012 and we're in this modern day era, we, we have this law on the books and many others also, but this one in particular, that's so many generations removed and, and the mindset and thinking of what was going on then when that was passed and how illegally it was done and all of that. And here, here we've just, we've propagated this lie and seed for, you know, for decades and decades and you have this generation of Americans that really do believe that cannabis should be side by side with heroin and methamphetamine on the controlled substance list. And it's just insane. And it's an herb and it, it has no, no business whatsoever even being in any way regulated whatsoever. And the fact that we have to, to go even under the, even though it passed in Colorado and Washington, it's under, you know, great scrutiny. They're going to limit you the number of plants you're growing and stuff like that. I mean, this, this, is just way beyond, but at least this is the beginning. At least people can finally see that cannabis is not this dangerous thing that they've been brainwashed to believe for so many decades. And, and this is what it's gonna take. It's gonna take Colorado and Washington to set the example and people to see the commerce and, and the beginnings of commerce and all of the uh, business activity and stuff that's gonna result from it. And of course the states, uh, you know, they're gonna garnish a lot of taxes and stuff like that and revenues they desperately need for everything from education on up, but this is what it's going to take. We're going to, they're going to set, have to set the examples 
and then these other states join in and before you know it the the ball will start rolling and this is what should happen it should be outright legalization and as time goes on and as the people are allowed to grow their own and stuff like that the price will come way down this this these that the only thing that infuriates me about this whole thing is that the price that they're charging at these dispensaries and stuff and all and that these tax revenues are being based on is the cartel price it's the illegal price and that's that's going to definitely change and i i hope that that's being planned for in all of these uh, city councils and stuff that are that are garnishing these ta new tax revenues and stuff i hope they understand that the ultimate end thing is is that the price is going to come down and people are not going to just stick to the fact of growing six plants and that's all they have you know maybe six plants of each variety that they ch choose to grow from or something like that but that that will gradually change but you know it's you have to take a little bit where you can get it and and this is certainly the a step in the right direction and it's positive but uh, we need to take this action right now and take it to the next level and really get all of these states to start joining in and ratifying legislation that uh, allows recreational marijuana and allow people to produce their own if they want to or to license businesses to grow for sale and dispensaries to people who are 21 years or older. I think this is a great plan and, and uh, states that share you know revenues that they're not getting right now. Why give it to the cartel? And uh, but but we will see the uh, price come down because it's, it, you know, cannabis has, has been overpriced for a long, long time. And the only reason it has been is because we've, the Drug Enforcement Agency and Controlled Substance Act has allowed this gang activity to, you know, to persist. And as long as we support stuff like that, that's what you're gonna get from it. So legalization is on the way folks and thank god thank you people in colorado thank you people in washington thank you people in oregon that did go out and vote yes and once again we're sorry that it didn't make it this time around but i guarantee you you will get another shot at it and maybe then people have woken up but uh hip hip hooray for the ones that did make it and, and passed it and i thank you for joining the cannabis corner